It's time to wind down for the night, so I thought I'd take you through a typical bedtime routine with me on a weekday as a dermatologist. If you're new, so happy to have you here. I'm Dr. Sam Ellis. I'm a board certified medical and cosmetic dermatologist in Northern California, and I'm here to help you understand your skin and find products that work for you. So if that sounds good, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This video contains a partnership with Apostrophe, which I will be talking about a little bit later in the video. If you're not familiar with Apostrophe, it's essentially an online service that provides access to virtual derm consultations and visits, as well as access to certain prescription medications to treat common skin disorders like acne, rosacea, hyperpigmentation, as well as cosmetic concerns like fine lines and wrinkles. I'll talk a little bit more about my personal experience with Apostrophe later in the video, but the reason I like it so much, even as a practicing dermatologist who sees patients in my own clinic, is because it really expands access to experts for dermatologic care. But I can tell you, I've met so many people in person who have used apostrophe and had a positive experience. Even patients who I've seen in my own clinic who, while they were on my wait list, got started with apostrophe, they made so much improvement while waiting to see me that by the time they came into my clinic, we could focus on their other derm concerns that required in-person care. So I'm a big fan. So it's like 8.30 p.m. right now and I'm going to start my nighttime routine. I typically leave for clinic around 6.30 in the morning because I have a pretty long commute and I get home around around 6 p.m. I currently have a 15 month old son and he goes to bed around 8 p.m. So I have about two hours from when I get home from work to when he goes to sleep where I can really pack in time with him. So I've been playing with him, feeding him dinner, giving him a bath, getting him off to bed. And now that he is asleep, it's mommy's turn. I like to do my nighttime routine pretty much as soon as he goes down to bed. I'm not gonna be going to bed for another couple of hours, like if I'm lucky, but at 8.30, I still have a little bit of energy and a little bit of gusto for my skincare routine. And I just find I'm much more consistent with my habits when I have some energy to commit to them. As you can see, I am still in my scrubs from clinic and I would kind of like to get out of these at this point. So I'm gonna take a shower. That is a typical part of my nighttime routine. It's not like an everything shower. If you know, you know, I'm not gonna be washing my hair. It's more of like a body shower, remove my makeup, wash my face, kind of just decompress situation. And since I won't be washing my hair because I think this is absolutely salvageable for at least another day, I'm gonna get it up and out of my face. Oh my God, the baby hairs, you guys, this is like, this is amazing. These are not bangs. I mean, they are bangs, but I didn't cut them to be that way. That's just regrowth postpartum, so awesome. I've talked about these on my Instagram before. These are the clips from The Crown Affair. They have these like, I don't know if you can see that, they have these like little grips inside of them. They're so good. And then if you've watched my other like shower E videos, you probably have seen this hack, but I like to take a nice like spa headband, wrap it around my hairline to keep my hairline really dry in the shower so it doesn't get all steamy and misty. And then take a really sexy shower cap and put it on like this. And this is how I will shower. Mm. Okay, that was a wonderful shower. Obviously I could not take you in there with me because it's not that type of YouTube channel, but I thought I'd show you what I used in the shower. So to get my makeup off and just my sunscreen from the day, I started out with my Elemis cleansing balm. The cap broke. This is not my favorite cleansing balm ever. It's like good enough to be in my shower. I'll use it up and then I'll move on. But for my second cleanse in the shower, I used my Ice Clinical Cleansing Complex. Now this stuff is amazing. Um, I've talked about it before on this channel. This is such a good cleanser. It's spendy. It takes forever though to go through this bottle and it has like a bajillion five-star reviews on every website for good reason. So I almost always wash my face first in the shower and then I move on to my body. So the body wash I used in the shower tonight is by Fleur. It's in the scent Hanami. And for me, my evening shower, it needs this like aromatherapy component and the Fleur body washes smell so good. They have these like deep sensual scents and when that mixes with the steam of the shower, it's just, it's very heavenly. And I'm one of those people who I bring a lot of my clinic load home with me mentally. I'm thinking about my patients. I'm thinking about things I have to do tomorrow in clinic. But when I get that like really good, deep, rich floor body wash scent, I can kind of chill out. And so I'm a big fan of having those in my nighttime routine. So that's everything that happened in the shower. Very efficient. Now it's time to get into sort of the rest of my nighttime routine, my leave-on skincare products. But before I put on any of my leave-on products, I'm actually first going to go in with my red light mask. I have a whole YouTube video explaining the benefits of red light, anti-aging, helps with inflammation, etc. This session takes about 10 minutes. So I will put this on. I will lay back and relax. Sometimes I'll do a 10 minute meditation on my Peloton app. Sometimes I'll just kind of go brain dead for 10 minutes and that's great too. I'll just demo this so you can see how absolutely creepy it is. I literally have to tell my husband when I'm gonna be doing the mask, I have to be like, babe, I'm about to do my red light mask because if he comes in and 
this is going full on in a dark room, I think I'll have a panic attack. So I'm gonna go do this for 10 minutes and then I'll be back. All right, the red light is done. My skin feels immediately calmer, like such an instant gratification with the red light mask. Now for the rest of my skincare, I'm first gonna go in with a lip ointment to kind of act as both a moisturizer for my lips, but also a barrier from any actives that I'm gonna put on my skin so that they don't cause irritation around the sensitive skin near my mouth. This ointment actually is not launched yet, but it will in a few months. And I think you guys will be equally as obsessed with it as I am. Next, I'm gonna go in with my personal apostrophe prescription. So my prescription here is tretinoin 0.025%, spironolactone, and clindamycin. That is sort of my secret sauce. I have the tretinoin in there to help with fine lines and wrinkles, as well as a little bit of pigmentation. I have the spironolactone in there to help with a little bit of hormonal breakouts. I also take oral spironolactone. If you want more information on spironolactone, I have an entire YouTube video dedicated to that. And then the clindamycin is a little topical antibiotic. And since I'm still wearing masks at work, I tend to get a little bit of mask knee, and I find that having a little bit of clindamycin in my routine really, really helps. So I'm going to take about half a pump of that uh, and apply it to my entire face. Just need a really thin layer usually with acne topicals and we'll kind of rub that in. Nose, can't forget the forehead, chin. The consistency of this is really nice. It's sort of a very hydrating, rich moisturizer. I'll still go in with a separate moisturizer afterward just because I need a little bit more moisturizer than the pea-sized amount of product that I'm using, but feels really good on the skin. You might be watching this going, uh, you're a dermatologist, couldn't you prescribe all of this to yourself? Oh, for sure, I definitely could. But I feel like if I'm gonna recommend a service, I need to have tried it, not just like the process of the intake, which I actually think is incredible, the way they have their interface, the way they get a really detailed health history, the way they ask you what your preferences are, all of that I think is amazing. But I also have to make sure that the product itself is good. And it would be something that I personally stand by as a dermatologist with my own standards of what skincare should be. And it totally passes both of those tests. So my apostrophe stuff is totally rubbed in, ready to go. While that prescription stuff is sinking into my skin, drying down, I'm gonna floss and brush my teeth because I think it would just be pure torture to have you guys watch me floss my teeth. I'm gonna do that off camera. I get maybe, hold on, I'm gonna spit this out before we talk, one sec. I get maybe just as many questions on my teeth whitening regimen as I do on my skincare regimen. I do not have a teeth whitening regimen. My teeth have been this white for as long as I can remember. I drink all the coffee and all the things and this is just what they are. I usually do use some type of whitening toothpaste. Tonight I'm using Colgate Total, um, but I have no toothpaste allegiances whatsoever. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is brushing your teeth and the order it goes in your skincare routine because I've been seeing a lot of stuff on other social media apps about how you have to wash your face after you brush your teeth. like you're an idiot if you're brushing your teeth after you've done your skincare. And I think that really depends on what skin issues you're dealing with, if any, and how you brush your teeth. The concern with brushing your teeth after you've done your skincare routine is that the toothpaste lather gets on the skin around your mouth and can cause things like perioral dermatitis or breakouts or contact dermatitis. But if you've never dealt with any of those problems before and you've been brushing your teeth after you've done your skincare, that is completely fine. I think it also has to do with your tooth brushing technique. Like when I brush my teeth, there is no foam like spraying out around my mouth, but I've been to enough sleepovers in my life and I've watched other people brush their teeth and some people have foam, they look like they have rabies. And so if that's how you brush your teeth, then maybe you should wash your face afterward. But again, it all depends. There's no rule around this. You have to do what works for you. Okay, now I'm going in with my eye cream. Tonight I'm using the Neocutis Lumiere Firm. Big shock, uh, still one of my favorite eye creams. I am telling you guys, I keep putting eye cream after eye cream up to this one as the test and like she still keeps winning. Uh, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. I don't know how many tubes I've gone through at this point, although it does take a long time to go through one of these. I'm just gonna put that around my eyes, crow's feet. I do take a little bit up onto my orbital bone here, but not a ton. And then I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. For my moisturizer tonight, I'm going in with my Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair. I freaking love this moisturizer so, so much. It's delicious. I'm almost out. I'm like just savoring these last little bits. I actually already have one repurchased, but I just, I'm holding on to this one. Sometimes people get nervous about using stuff that comes in jars. There are good preservative systems in these products so that when it comes in a jar, it's, it's not an issue. 
I did not put any retinol or retinoid on my neck tonight because my neck's been feeling kind of sensitive. So I'm just gonna go in with moisturizer on that. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go spend some quality time with my husband, which almost certainly will involve binging one of our favorite Netflix or Apple TV shows. If you have anything that you're loving to watch, put it in the comments below. I'm also just so glad that in two hours when I come up to go to bed, I don't have to do my skincare routine. All this stuff that will have been soaking into my skin and I can just crawl into bed and let my husband deal with his skincare routine. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. If you have anything special in your skincare routine, I would love for you to share it with me in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.